Well, it's time for Sports on New Day. My name is Kelvin Osmasa. Today, we are joined by former National 20 star Enoch Edukofi, currently plays in Sweden for Mielby. Uh, he's one of the excellent midfielders we've seen over uh, the past years. He played for Liberty Professionals when he was in Ghana, in the Ghana Premier League. Enoch, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, in Sweden, I know, yes, a couple of other players have been in there and all oh, that made a name for themselves, but how is life treating you in Sweden? Ah, life has been good, really good. But, uh, yeah, I would say uh, fantastic, yeah, for me. We know you've stayed in Sweden before. You played for AIK where you won the league with them, moved on around to play in Turkey, France and all that. But coming back to play for Mielby, Last season, excellent season. This season, yes, it's also started. How, how, how has your playing career, your, your playing um, stats in Sweden been like as compared to the, uh, your first stint uh, when you were with AIK? Ah, thank you. I think I have had a successful uh, season or career over there in Sweden because, uh, yeah, I went there in 2014. Okay. I play for Malmo FF. Yeah. Yeah, which we won the league yeah, twice and then uh, qualifying to the Champions League. Played uh, as well for two times. Yeah, it's been great. And then after that, uh, moving to Turkey. Mm. Mm. All right. Now, talking about you playing for Malmo FF, winning the league, playing the UEFA Champions League, even at AIK, you managed to win the league trophy. But now, the club you play for are not really getting you into European club football. How is the feeling like? How does it feel after you've tasted the sweet European football and it gets to this point, you are not playing actively in the biggest European competitions? Yeah, as a player, you feel it because uh, you've got experience before. Yeah, you've been, you've been there before and then you feel like getting there again. But uh, I would say it's a process and it's about hard working and then... Uh, you keep working and then we see how it goes. Now with you playing across so many countries in, 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 in Europe, yes, uh, France, Turkey, Sweden and, and the likes, how, how is the life in Sweden treating you and how have you been able to balance the different uh, culture you've been in, especially as um, a, foreign, a foreigner in, in, in those um, countries? Yeah, that one is very, very difficult and uh, yeah. It's a tough uh, one. You always have to be prepared. The passion should be there. And then uh, always like uh, mentality. Yeah, it's one of the best. You have to be always uh, ready for it because uh, it's not easy. Because uh, moving to another club even is a very tough one. Yeah, the passion have to be there. You're working hard. And then, uh, yeah, because... Uh, I remember moving to Denmark from France. Yeah, it was a very tough one, but uh, but God grace we managed, and then yeah, everything was successful. Well, in everything being successful now with with the club you're in, what what have you set for yourself for them? Because we know you've won the league in Sweden before with two different sides. Now with Mielby, what are you envisaging in the next couple of years? I don't know how many years you've signed for. How many years? Are yeah, you I signed there? for two years. This is two. my. This is your second, second season. Year. What is your target for them this season? Yeah, as long as you have the experience, yeah, I'm going to try to add my experience and then uh, try to do what I can do to help them. Yeah. So. Well, judging from judging from this experience, I know Enoch wants to play at international level. You were one of the brightest spots from the youth national teams, from the under 20, great midfielder. Some were expecting you to at least fill into the shoes of Mike Lacey and Likens and Steven Appiah, but it hasn't really happened to. The last time you played for the Black Stars was back in 2016 against South Africa in a friendly. Does it get a bit frustrating that for such great glory that you, you felt was ahead of you, you haven't been able to get to that glory? Yeah, it felt uh, it felt very disappointed. Yeah, because uh, winning the league over there, doing what we can do, and then playing as every game, always yeah, as a player, you feel like yeah, you feel disappointed, and uh, 
my wish is to help the nation and then I was willing. Yeah, I'm always willing and then, yeah, as a player, you feel like you've been rejected or something like that. So the most important is over there, you are doing it good always. And uh, if I'll say I've had a successful career and then, yeah, I would say as a player, you feel it uh, sometimes. Even when you are watching, you feel like oh, I can do this better than uh, maybe your other colleagues, <laughs> someone or something. But you feel it. But uh, yeah. sometimes you feel disappointed. Yeah, I feel disappointed, very disappointed. But does it get frustrating for you? We know some some of the players get frustrated. It gets to a point they give up totally on the national team. And recently, Alfred Duncan um, uh, retired from international football because of this. Are you calling it quit, or your doors are still open? Uh, for uh, Black Stars invitation? Ah, no, I'm not calling a quit because I, as long as I'm still playing and I'm staying in the game, yeah, I'm hoping and then yeah, to come and also help the nation. It's uh, always available and then, yeah, I'm always ready. So the league is going on, we are still playing and then, yeah. Hmm. Since that friendly in 2016 when you played for the Black Stars, um, has there been any other coach who has approached you or any other technical team member that has taken over the Black Stars from Avram Grant up to now, contacted you on a possible invitation to come and play for the Black Stars? No, actually, no. I haven't, uh, it was a kind of a CK wanted, really, but uh, at long last, nothing didn't happen. So mm. I'm hoping and I'm still ready to come and help the nation. So. Yeah, sometimes as a footballer you feel uh, yeah very disappointed. When it gets to this point, do you think do you think it's all because of of you not being top there, or you think there's there's um, that bit of no um, favor or no person to favor you in the team, or no person who really likes your style of football? That's that's why you don't get that opportunity. Yeah, actually. It all depends on when we are doing it good there, because I think I have a great uh, career because uh, playing in a, winning the league or playing uh, in the highest level is a very tough one. And uh, playing in Champions League alongside players like Pierlo, Lampard, and Hazard, Cristiano Ronaldo, all these kind of players. It's, I think uh, as a player, I am proud of myself and. Uh, mm. You only wish and then you hope for the mm. best. And then uh, we are hoping I'm always ready and then, yeah. Well, certainly. I, I know, yes, with the, with the clubs you've played, we know say, you, you, you may have a very good agent in there. But do you think your agent also may also have been pushed too much or uh, very well to help you and collapse in the national team? Do you think the Black Stars is about um, agency? Yeah, actually, I don't know. That one I don't know because uh, I know actually when we're doing good or uh, what we have been doing, yeah, I think I've been for quite good. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I was hoping like, yeah, because it's not easy over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get in there in a successful way because it's always tough. Yeah, yeah. really tough. Getting a good season, try to win the titles. Moving to the highest level is very, very tough. So by God's grace, for me, I have had a quite successful. So I was hoping and I'm still hoping. Thanks for get better. Yeah. Are you part of the PFAG? Yeah. And have you, have you expressed any concerns with your general secretary, the welfare, uh, the person in charge of welfare, which I know is you see for last time, who also played in Sweden. Have you expressed any of these grievances with him to ask why or get you to know why, with this sort of performance, you don't earn an opportunity to play. Yeah, actually, as a footballer, you t you feel like, yeah, it's not your job to do that. Uh, it's not your job to do that. So, for you, your job is to keep working hard and okay. then, uh, yeah, do what you have to do. And I've been doing all that. So, actually, we are hoping, and then, by God's grace, I think uh, we also come and help the nation. All right. We know life begins at 30. That's what we normally say. But for footballers, after 30, it gets difficult for you. 
don't you think it's, it's time you should be giving up on, on any national team call-ups? No, 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 never. Because I, I still have the quality and then, yeah, sometimes when I'm watching, you feel like you can do it much better than some, you can mention name or okay. something, but uh, you feel like, ah, if I get the chance, yeah. It's all about working hard and then your mentality. At long last, I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah. Yeah. I've been knocking, knocking, but I still, we are hoping for the chance. All right. In hoping for the chance, looking at the current crop of players and then uh, who are in the national team, Coach Otado taking over in the last, uh, do I say, three or four months, what do you make of the team now and uh, where do you see us uh, in the World Cup that is coming up in November? Yeah, you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, new faces and uh, yeah, they are doing good. So now it's all about the uh, preparing, you know, preparation and then, uh, yeah, for the upcoming uh, World Cup World and Cup, then the other Africa Cup. Other African Cup. Cup. So, yeah, I think uh, we are hoping for the best and then uh, we are staying in preparation. So. Mm. We hope. Uh, well, in talking about preparation, I'm sure you're a footballer. You know how things. Are. What are, what do you what do you actually mean about the preparation for 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 the tournament? What do you kindly hit us on on the actuals you want the team to work on? Yeah, the preparation means like always keep on working, keep listening to the coach what he says, and then you add yours to it as well. So I think uh, getting there is always important. You show what is inside you, you have to bring what you, have, you can do to help the nation. So I think uh, this is what we have to keep All on. Right. Uh, I won't let you go. You played for Liberty Professionals. Now Liberty have fallen off the Ghana Premier League. They are in the Division 1 and fighting for a return to the Ghana Premier League. They are in Zone 3, second on the table, um, a point behind that is uh, Kotoku Royals who are leading. With what you have seen so far, I'm sure you've been following them. How do you feel seeing Liberty drop to that zone and what do you think they can do best in the last two games to get back to Ghana's top flight? Yeah, I follow them. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, when you play there before, when you see this kind of situation, you feel like, yeah, you want them back as well. Yeah, to be in the highest level. But uh, we are praying and then we are hoping they will get back to where they were. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Enoch. Uh, we just hope Liberty Professionals get better. And for you, this season becomes another exciting and brilliant one for you. So that was Enoch Edukofi. He's a midfielder who plays in Sweden for Mielby and also uh, played for the senior national team in 2016. That was the last time he featured uh, for us. Uh, he joined us this morning for Sports on New Day.